Hi, my name is Julie Roman and I work on the tech marketing team for the CMBU at VMware and today I wanted to talk about Log Insight dashboards and content packs. We're on the dashboards tab in Log Insight and I have a number of content packs installed and we're going to start out looking at the vSphere content pack. I'm looking at the DRS dashboard. Um, there's a number of options that I have. If I like, I can share this dashboard with somebody who doesn't have access to Log Insight. Um, if I do that, it will. Uh, I can set the expiry to any time I want, and then I can um, generate the URL and share this with a person. And this will limit the dashboard to the specific time frame um, that I've created, and so that's not a live snapshot. It's just that point in time. And you'll see I have the option to open the uh, query in Interactive Analytics. I also will get information about the purpose of the dashboard, what it's showing me. And I can clone individual widgets. Since this is coming from a content pack, it's read only. So if I want to make modifications to some of the visualizations or add or remove widgets, um, I need to clone it. I can clone um, the entire dashboard. And I can save that dashboard to everyone, but for now I'm just going to save that dashboard under my personal dashboards. So this will show up under my dashboards. I also have shared dashboards. These are the dashboards that are available to everyone who has access to the system. Now if we pop back to this dashboard, I'm able to make modifications if I like. So I'm seeing the DRS executed vMotions by host and also by VM. Uh, if I wanted to click into um, any of these, I can hover over an area of the or area of the chart that's of interest and I can select, you know, just this purple area would be the DRS migrations for this specific cluster. So if I click there versus popping here into interactive analytics, it would show me the details for just that cluster. But now I'm getting all the DRS migrations for the environment. And if I want to change the chart type, I can do that. And maybe I want to change this to a table. And I'm seeing the migrations per cluster, but maybe I also want to add the VM name in there. So I can do that. And then I can add this to the dashboard that I just created. And so now I've got this new widget that's showing me, um, whoops. <laughs> That's showing me the um, the migrations, including the VM name. If I want to just change the uh, chart type, I can do that once I have it cloned, like I did here, and I can change this to a different type of chart. And the vSphere Content Pack, the vRealize Operations Content Pack, and vSAN are all installed by default. But let's take a look at a Content Pack that is a third party. We'll do the Microsoft Active Directory Content Pack. And we'll look at the Object Auditing Overview. And we're looking for the last 24 hours of data. Um, I have what's called a multi-query widget here where if I click play on it, it will actually show me all the queries that have results. And this is nice if you want to put a lot of data into one single dashboard. You can have this multi-query widget which will give you all this information and it will, um, you know, you can just click on the ones that have results. For example, if I wanted to click into this account management option. It's going to give me the details uh, from the log messages. Now you may be wondering, well, how do we install content packs? So I'm going to pop over to another instance that I don't have um, 
this Active Directory content pack installs, I'm actually forwarding logs from this instance to this one here. So I am getting Active Directory logs already, but I don't have the content pack installed, so I can't see all those custom dashboards. Once I click on install, it will give me kind of the overview um, of what the content pack is. And once I click install, it's going to give me all the setup instructions that are required to ensure that these logs flow to Log Insight and I can get all the dashboards populated. And if I ever want to view the setup instructions afterwards or the upgrade instructions, I can click in here and, and view those again. This is giving me all the details on the dashboards that are available in the content pack and every widget in the dashboard has an explanation. It's also giving me the list of all of the uh, queries that make up those dashboards. There's alerts that I can enable. So out of the box, these are all disabled, but I can go in and enable anything um, that I would like. And agent groups um, will be defined for any content pack that requires you to install something on the OS so that you can get the OS and application logs for the specific um, service. And not all content packs have agents. You know, they might be using syslog, in which case they wouldn't need to have an agent installed. And then we've got these extracted fields. So it's giving us the regex value that it's using to identify the various fields in the log messages. Now I'm going to pop back to this other instance where I already had this content pack installed. And we're going to pop over to Agents. So I can centrally manage all of the agents that I have installed in my environment. And this is the content pack that's for Active Directory. And I've applied these to my four servers. And I'm just filtering it based on the name of the virtual machine. And if I want to make modifications, um, this is showing that we're syslogging, or sorry, we're sending the logs through the ingestion API to our um, to two different destinations. So we've got this log insight destination and then another um, log insight destination. And this is actually sending logs to our cloud environment for log insight cloud. And you know, if I wanted to modify the host name or, or anything in here, I can do that and it will automatically update that information on the agent. So I can centrally manage them once the agent is installed, then I don't have to make uh, one-off modifications to every server. And if I wanted to make modifications to the logs I was uh, collecting, I can do that here as well. I'm going to pop back over to this instance here. So I've just applied this here. And I'm already sending logs for Active Directory. So now we'll see the content pack is installed. And I can click on any of these uh, dashboards. And it will start populating data. And the last thing I wanted to show you is how you would enable content pack alert. So we actually go to interactive analytics to do this. And there's this little bell icon for alerts. So if I want to manage alerts that are already um, in the system, so already here based on the content packs that I have installed, I can come in here and just select the alerts that I want to enable and enable them. And then I can just send this to my email address or a distribution list. I could also use a webhook um, so that it sends a notification to Slack or something like that, but we'll just send it via email. And now I've enabled those alerts that we added from that content pack. I hope you found this overview demo useful. If you'd like to see more Log Insight demos, please stay tuned to our YouTube channel.